everyone, my name is Rachel, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating for you a simple New Year's Eve look that has a lot of pinks and purples in it and a lot of shimmer. I hope you like it. We're going to start by priming the face. Today I'm going to go in with the Professional Matte Rescue and the Professional Original. I'm going to take the Matte Rescue all over my face and then I'm going to go into my T-Zone with the Professional Original. Next, I'm going to take a tip from Jackie Iga and I'm going to set my primer with a translucent powder. This one's from Elf. Next, I'm going to spray over my face with a Too Faced RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Shell Ice. And I'm going to blend all this out with a real technique sponge. I think this is their perfect complexion sponge, but uh, I'm not so much. To conceal, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade 10 Fair. Next, I'm going to set my entire face using the same elf powder and a fluffy brush from the Age Cosmetics. Next, we're going to prime my eyes using the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Now, we're going to set the primer in place by using White Lies from Makeup Geek. Now off camera, I'm going to do my brows using the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil and Bang & Brunette, and then I'll come back and bring you guys closer so we can do the eyes together. With the eyes, we're going to start with the transition shade. For this, we're taking Journey from the Tarte Clay Play palette, and we're going to do it along the crease and underneath the eye to create a winged out look without having winged eyeliner. We just want to sketch out where we're going to put our colors with this shade. Next, we're going to go in with the Single Shadow Poodle from ColourPop. We're going to put that over our transition shade in the same areas around the crease. Going under the eye as well, and slowly building color. We're using a fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Now we're going to take it and go over the lid a little bit so that we don't have all that blank white space, so we have something to put color on top of. And we're doing the same thing on both eyes. Next we're going in with the single shadow Get Out from ColourPop and we're going in with this tiny detail blending brush from Juvia's Place. We are going to use this to deepen the crease and to also deepen the outer corner. Same idea on the lid, we're going to pack on some color so that we have something to build off of so that when we cut our crease we don't have any white spaces. And we're going to take this and use it to really define the winged look that we're going for. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. 
Next, we're taking the same fluffy brush we used the first time from BH Cosmetics, but we cleaned it off, and we're going to use that to blend the edges. I know I got a little bit out of frame here, but I feel like I'm explaining it. So, it's not as important that you see everything. Just know that I'm just blending the top of it. Uh, next, we're going in with Onyx from the Tarte Clay Play Palette. It's the black eyeshadow. We're taking a flat brush from Juvia's Place. And we're packing that onto the outer corner. And then we took the little blending brush that we used before to blend it out and also to add a little bit more color. We didn't want it to be too intense on the outer corner because we wanted it to look blended. Now we're taking the same flat brush from before and really packing on color. Then switching back to our blending brush and blending it into the crease and out into the wing. Next we're taking a small concealer brush from BH Cosmetics and Super Shock Shadow in Liberty from ColourPop. And I'm sorry, my face is very out of frame for this, and that's very frustrating to me. But I just used that shade to cut my crease. I hope that you can see it a little more when I get up. See? And now I'm using my eye to blend it into the black so it's not such a harsh line. You can see that I just did a very simple half-cut crease. Hardly any effort with the Super Shock Shadow. Now I'm going to use the 24-hour eyeliner in Perversion from Urban Decay. I'm just going to use that to tightline my water line. Now we're using the same fluffy brush from before. We cleaned it off from the Juvia's Place. We're taking a mixture of Get Out and Poodle, and we're going to put it under the eye to smoke it out. Now we're going to curl our eyelashes, and you can take any black mascara that you like. Today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's cheap in drugstore, and I'm just going to apply mascara how I normally would. And now I'm going to take the small pencil brush from Morphe, Pink Heart from the ABH Moonchild Glow Kit Palette. I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corner of my eye. To contour the perimeter of my face, I'm going to go in with Terracotta from the Tarte Clay Play Palette, and I'm going to be taking that on a big fluffy fan brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. For nose contour, I'm going to use the e.l.f. contour kit because it's a lot more sheer than the Tarte kit, so it doesn't come off too hard. For blush, I'm going to take this angled blush brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to use NARS Orgasm. Then I'm going to take this smaller tapered brush from Juvia's Place, and I'm going to highlight the high points of my face with Pink Heart from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. And finally, for lips, we're going to go in with the Ultra Satin Lip and Lip Pencil Combo from ColourPop in the shade Lion King. And I'm going to clean up around my lips using this small concealer brush from BH Cosmetic and my regular concealer. And lastly, you should set the face using your favorite setting spray to ensure that you're low glass all night. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. You know what I'm using. I've talked about it a lot. This one. Take a palette and fan your face because it helps it 
dry faster and last longer. I don't know why this works, it just does. <laughs> And this is our finished look. I'm trying to be Alyssa Ashley, and I'm not Alyssa Ashley, but a girl can dream, right? Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye!